Hi, everybody. This is Delia Colvin. Today, we're going to talk about VAD wind profiles. VAD as in velocity azimuth display. And they are measured at Doppler radar sites. They're updated from two, 1 to 2,000 feet all the way up to 50,000 feet and updated every scan of the radar. So in other words, anywhere between 4 to 9 minutes. So it gives us this our most up-to-date picture of the weather. Now, here is the winds aloft forecast. Here's the data on that. And it tells you that they're running the models at 0 Zulu, 6 Zulu, 12 Zulu, and 18 Zulu. They're running the models four times a day. And those winds are issued then during these various times, right? But here's the problem. First off, I'm always suspicious of the model-based um, weather forecasting. However, uh, how, what happens if right after 02 Zulu, maybe at 0230, a cold front moves through? Your model is going to be completely inaccurate. And so what are you going to do to find out what's actually happening on either side of that frontal system? Well, you can go and take a look at what's happening with the VAD wind profiles. Now this is a VAD wind profile. Let's just take a quick look at this. It tells us what time this is. There's the VAD wind profile in knots. It's giving us the location of it. And you can see it's all the way up to 50,000 feet and all the way down to 2,000. Now, this is at 2,000 feet. Binghamton, I think, is at 1,458. So this is pretty darn close to the surface. And this is the time. You can see that it's updating it every few minutes. About every, actually, it was updating on the last sweep. It was updating every four to five minutes. Here it's changed just a little. Well, this one's five minutes. Uh, yeah, so you got the picture on that. So here we have a scan that was done at 1619 at 2,000 feet and it had the wind. If you don't know how to read this, it is uh, like an arrow. It's moving from the west to the east, actually just slightly on a, on a uh, west-northwest to an east-southeast and about 15 knots. This is 10 knots, this is 5 knots. And you want to see these all in blue to green. Uh, if they go into yellow or red, they are unreliable. Yellow, typically, when I see that, I start going, ah, I don't think that's so accurate. This right here is 50 knots. And you can see all the winds are pretty consistent. ND means nothing detected. And if I was looking at this and we had a ceiling, and I had an idea where those, that ceiling was, and all of a sudden the winds changed at 900,000 feet, I would suspect that that was the top of that, that, uh, that cloud base. Now, sometimes I've seen it where it's the bases also, but usually you can get a good idea from that from the METARs. Now, um, if we were going to do this, by the way, let's take a look. When you come to this page, the first thing you're going to see is the uh, single site radar. You're going to be able to loop that if you wanted to take a look at it. But if you wanted to select the location, it's all in alphabetical order, and it's named by the radar site. So you may not always know which one they're talking about. So one of the things they've done to help you out here, and this is a new feature, I really love this. It's the first time I've seen it just recently, is that they've got these sites. So if you were flying along this route um, and you wanted to... I mean, here we are, let's see here. Let's see where there's some weather. Let's look at this one right here. So you can select that, and here's the weather. We've got a heck of a lot more weather there, wind, don't we? And down here, there's a really interesting thing going on. It's not a lot of velocity, but between uh, 1,000 and 3,000 feet, we have a lot of changes in those winds. They're only about five knots, so I'm not particularly concerned. However, if I was looking to see if we were going to have some kind of turbulence, um, I would expect this is what I would be looking for, is sharp changes in directions like this. And um, you, that, that would indicate that to me. 
So that is bad wind profiles. I hope you feel just a little more competent and confident in using them. They're a great resource for you, and uh, don't shy off from using them. Thanks. We'll talk to you next time.